Now, as for the next three taco spots, you just got to wait until part two. Spartan Tacos, otherwise known as Sparkos, otherwise known as Spartan Taco Truck, otherwise known as Cali Spartan Mexican Kitchen, located on Blossom Hill Road. Now there's two locations to this, the first one being in downtown San Jose, um, but I went to the one in Blossom Hill because I just like that one a little better because it has a lot of seating. All right, we're at Spartan Tacos. We got two regular tacos, just meat, onion, cilantro, as promised, one pastor, one asada. I like the little crispy ones better though, so I got two of those on the side, but talk about those later. For now, we got one regular asada taco. All right, first bite. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna try the pastor now. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh, so oh. on fire. The asada, it's a little underwhelming, not as flavorful, a little overcooked, but the pastor is super flavorful, marinated really well, but also a little overcooked. But what I like about Spartan Tacos is not the meat, it's the sauce, baby. You got the special orange sauce. Just get a, get a drizzle. More lemon. <clears throat> All right, with the orange sauce. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Mmm. Oh shit, it's spicy. <coughs> This orange sauce is a lot smokier than the first place I went to. Tacos Los Tres Reyes. All right, that's with the orange sauce. Mmm. Mm. I love Spartan tacos. All right, rating. Asada, 8.5 out of 10. Ah, uh, just an eight. Pastor, nine out of 10. Very good. Very freaking good. All right, let's see. Yeah, as the video mentioned, there's not much to say about it. Well, actually, there is something to say about it. I'm upping my rankings for these. I gave the Asada an 8.5 out of 10. I'm upping it to a 9 out of 10. After trying all of these places, I realized that even though it was a little overcooked, it was charred and had a lot of flavor, which I really, really liked. That was probably one of the first Asadas that I thought was super flavorful. So 9 out of 10 for the Asada. Now as for the Pastor, it was a little crispy, which I did like and it was marinated really well too, so not too much to complain about, 9.5 out of 10. Now as for the sauce, there are two main sauces that I like. One is the avocado green salsa, and the second one is the holy blessed, god dang, I'm about to freaking break my back, bend over backwards, sideways, diagonal, up, down, for this orange sauce. Like, it's that good. For sure the sauce is the one that puts this place over the top, for me at least, because I'm a sauce guy. Spartan tacos, 10 out of 10. How can you see? Next up, we got Metro's Balderas, located on, crap, I don't know where it's located. And this spot is in a very cramped location, so you do have to look for parking right before you actually arrive at the destination because the parking lot only has two or three spots. Now, each taco here cost me $3 each. Alrighty, it is a little bit of time later. They gave me the same sauces as Tacos a la Parilla, actually. The green and peppery looking salsa. And I got radishes and lemon. Ooh, yo, let's go. Got two tacos from here. We got an asada taco and the pastor taco. This is not fresh, obviously. I had to drive home because I had to head to the gym in 10 minutes. So, bro, I'm, I'm about to die during the workout. It's gonna, my stomach's gonna burn. It's gonna burn, all right. Good thing I'm not doing squats today. So we are gonna squeeze our lemon on now. I don't know why I said it like that. We're gonna squeeze our lemon on now. Uh, all right, as per usual, we are going to try it first, just the meat, just the taco, I mean, no sauce. All right, here are the asada tacos. First bite. Mmm, try this, the meat. Mmm, in terms of the meat flavor, kind of underwhelming, not super flavorful. Uh, maybe because it's a little cold, but I think regardless, it still would have tasted the same kind of. I still have one more taco spot to go to. Not gonna lie, I'm starting to get a little scared of tacos. <laughs> Not because I, I, I'm getting sick of the taste, it's just, it's a lot of tacos, you know. But, here it is with the pepper sauce. Mmm. Alright, next up we got the pastor. 
Let's try it first, just the taco itself. Oh! Oh! First bite. Mmm. Yeah, I like pastor better. Not only this place, but just in general. Pastor cuts are quite big here. Mmm. The past two harchatas that I had during this tour so far has been better than the one time I've tried it at Spartan Tacos or at Cali Spartan Mexican Kitchen. Yeah, I don't know. I like both. I like both. I don't know which one I like better. I think the first one is really sweet, which is why I really like it, but this one's also drinkable for a longer period of time. Like, this one tastes more like a refreshing drink, whereas the first one tasted more like a creamy dessert. All right. The asada was kind of underwhelming. Might be because it was a little cold, but the meat, the asada, kind of dry, not that flavorful, 7.5 out of 10. The pastoro, however, on the other hand, was marinated a little better, but still not as flavorful as all of the other spots I've had thus far. By far the worst one I've had. Now, don't get me wrong though, Metros Balderas, sorry if I mispronounced that, is still a very good taco spot. I just think that compared to all the other places, there's better out there, in my opinion. I'm giving the asada a 7.5 out of 10, and the pastor an 8 out of 10. So overall, 8 out of 10 for Metros Balderas. Alas, we are at the final taco spot of this tour. Tacos Chencho's. Sorry, Tacos Chencho, located also on Story Road. Wow, the taco tour is coming to an end. We are at our sixth and final place. We're trying our sixth and final place. Tacos Chencho. Today we got two tacos again. One asada, one pastor, and we're gonna try it. Oh, this place also had a lot of salsa. I couldn't record it, but they have orange salsa, and we got this avocado salsa. All right, we're gonna try it with just the meat first. As per tradition, squeeze the lemon. Okay, we're gonna try the asada first. It looks so good. Asada. First bite. Mmm, mm hmm Mm hmm I thought it was good. Flavorful, juicy, perfectly cooked. Mmm, this is good. Also got grilled onions. Places that give grilled onions is fire. Put some of this orange sauce on there and try it out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, sorry. Orange sauce, asada. Mmm, okay. Interesting flavor. This orange sauce tastes like a lot like the first place that I got from Tacos Los Tres Reyes. Really tomatoey. Putting some avocado salsa. There we go. Mmm. Get a good look. It's about to be gone in the jiffy. Pastor. First bite. Mmm. 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 The pastor is marinated really well. Flavoring is so good. Holy moly. It's not overcooked either. It tastes good. Let me just eat the pasta with the avocado salsa. Yeah, baby. Mmm. Now, Tacos Chencho to me was very, very similar to Tacos Los Tres Reyes. They both tasted almost identically the same. The pastor was marinated very well, juicy, and the asada was a little less flavorful than the pastor, but still tender. Very good. In addition to that, they practically had the same sauces as Tacos Los Tres Reyes. They had the orange sauce, which was tomato-y, which I'm not a big fan of, but I know that might be the authentic way um, to make that sauce. But yeah, it, the sauces, orange sauce was also very similar. On top of that, I didn't try the avocado green salsa at Tacos Los Tres Reyes, but the one at Tacos Chencho is very good. They know how to make their sauce as well. With the flavor, the texture of the meat, and the sauce being virtually the same as Tacos Los Tres Reyes, I'm giving this place a nine and a half out of 10. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, my personal favorites for tacos. First, Spartan Tacos. Second, Tacos Chencho. Third, Tacos Los Tres Reyes. Fourth, Tacos A La Parilla. Fifth, Arujos. And sixth, Metros Balderas. Although Tacos A La Parilla had the best meat, $4 for a taco is kind of outrageous to me, honestly. But it's okay though, you know, I still will go back there, but I just think that the other three places I would definitely go back to without a doubt if someone asked me if they wanted to go. But Spartan Tacos, Cali Spartan Mexican Kitchen, I'll go there myself. Like, I don't need anyone to invite me. I'm freaking going. Like, all right, the sauce is just way too good. Like, it's just way too good to not 
just it's too good it's too it's too good but that's it for this taco tour if you guys enjoyed this taco tour go ahead and leave a like down below and comment any other taco places that you think are good and i will keep them in mind because i'm still gonna, probably gonna go back to spartan tacos regardless if you guys have any other food tours you want to see go ahead and let me know in the comments below and i will also go ahead and try to do those as well i'm also doing a road to 1000 for my squat bench and deadlift so go ahead and subscribe if you want to see that and if you want to see more food tours and with that I will see you all in the next video. Peace.